Mimi Cosma is a master home chef. Jail is awesome. Yeah. And she's on a mission to give back to her community through her passion for food. Delicious. With the help of hometown heroes charity. I have this case that I think you're gonna find interesting. Some very special guest chefs. I love it. And a few surprises along the way. Oh my gosh. Mimi's going to give families in need an amazing dining experience they won't forget. Welcome to Atlantic City. Mike Schwartz of Hometown Heroes has a case that many people battle with, diabetes. It's a life-threatening disease that is greatly affected by diet. Let's find out more. When I met Teresa a few weeks ago, uh, I wanted to do something really nice for her. What I thought is we can give her the day that she'll never forget. Okay, tell me about it. All right, so she doesn't know, of course, what you're gonna be making. She doesn't even know that you're gonna be making dinner for her. So I okay. had to kind of sneak around and find out what she likes. All right. So I asked her about her lifestyle and what she's into, and, and she told me, she actually broke down a little bit, and she said, Mike, she said, we're, we're very poor, we don't have a lot of money. She said, but the one thing I like is steak. Oh, steak. Since Teresa's diabetic, I have to select the best cuts of meat, and I'm going to have to be careful which appetizers and sides I select to pair with it. They're on food stamps, and from what I understand, it's only about $100 a month for food that they actually live on. Look, it's hard enough for all of us to budget our grocery bills, but $100 a month for food and to watch your diet because of diabetes is a huge burden. I have a great idea. While we're at the grocery store, let's grab an extra cart, fill it up, and that way they can enjoy steak at least more than once that a month. That is an awesome idea. What do you think? Let's go. Teresa Long is very poor, and she's been struggling with juvenile diabetes since birth. Consequently, she went completely blind from it about eight years ago. One of her favorite things to do is listen to local Atlantic City radio host, Harry Hurley. Harry Hurley is like my morning hero. I listened to him for years. At one point in my life, I had pretty much given up. I raised five kids by myself and I had to work two jobs, and sometimes three. So I kind of forgot myself. I forgot to go to the eye doctor, and that's a really important thing. They can actually see the sugar build up on your blood vessels behind your eyes and do things to get the sugar off the blood vessels. I waited too long. That's all there is to it. I met Teresa on the radio. It's one of the great joys of my position because you never know who you're touching. Teresa had been a listener of the program for more than five years before she ever decided to pick up the phone for the first time. One day, I called and I told him, I said, Harry, you saved my life. You don't know me, but there was a point in my life that I didn't think that I was worth anything anymore to anybody, that I couldn't figure things out on my own. And listening to you made me realize that I'm still a human being. Just because I can't see doesn't mean I can't think. And I just want to thank you for everything. He got very quiet and he pretty much said, I don't even know what to say to that. I've never had a nicer call or anyone say anything nicer to me. To make a great steak dinner, choosing the right cut of meat is paramount. So I'm hoping this local market has exactly what I'm looking for. These are the ones. Now the rest of the ingredients for the appetizer and side dishes. I think that's all of it, I hope. Teresa doesn't get out of her house that much, so she's very happy. Right now, uh, we're gonna take her over to the salon. Uh, we're gonna give her an entire day. Uh, besides the meal that we're doing tonight, we're gonna give her just an experience of a lifetime. Hi. I'm Hi. so glad to meet you. I'm glad I'm to meet you. Hi, Denise. I'm Teresa. Teresa. Or Terry. Terry. Call me yeah. Terry. I own the salon, and we're going to give you the funnest, funnest day in the salon. We're going to make it beautiful. Can you get rid of my unibrow? Absolutely. Oh. I haven't been out other than to go to a doctor's since I went blind. I've never been to a salon. I went to a beauty parlor when I was like 17 and got my hair trimmed once. That was more like, you know, one of those people that are in their kitchen and they do hair. I had never had a manicure, pedicure. I uh, never had a professional do my hair. Hi, 
Hi, Chef. Hi, nice to meet you. Chef Kevin Cronin of the Iron Room is letting us use his kitchen and restaurant to make Teresa and her family dinner. Okay, so here's the deal. Since you guys are a little bit late today, yeah. I have my crew right now prepping for dinner. Yeah. So there's going to be a little bit of a problem. Okay. All right, so you two are going to have to try to do the best you can to stay out of each other's way while working in this very small, very tight kitchen. All right, all right. So there's any screaming, it's going to be me, I guess. All right. Okay. We were under some kind of a time crunch, and we would like to kind of get everything done and get everyone together and just, you know, everyone, everything run as smoothly as it possibly could. Hi, Harry. Good to see you. Congratulations on a beautiful day. Oh, and a wonderful day. Thank you. Larry, how are you? Good to see you. Absolutely how about Hometown Heroes? Are they amazing? Amazing. Yes. Yes. What a team. Amazing. What a team. Joining Teresa tonight for dinner are Larry and her son, George. Harry, you know what? Yeah, no, I got you. You were everything. And Why was your conduit? This is how we all met. I know. That's how it, that's how it, you know? know. Yes. That's but how it is. You were everything to me before I ever spoke to you. Right back here. So, well, just take it from my heart. I do. That's very I beautiful. Feel about you. Very beautiful. Mimi and I are so excited to get Teresa out of her house after not leaving home for eight years. Good evening, guys. Our first course tonight will be a tomato and onion salad with chiffonade basil over top. Your main course is a prime beef ribeye, pan seared, served with candy, maple, balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts with bacon on top, and garlic red smashed potatoes. For the appetizer, we're gonna make a tomato onion salad. I just need to slice them in half and uh, put them in a bowl over here. And we'll add the chiffonade basil right as we plate it and serve it. It's delicious, doesn't it? All right, so I'm going to take this ramekin of garlic plug, so I'm just going to stick this in here and let that uh, roast until the garlic cloves become very soft and tender. I need to go ahead and get my Brussels sprouts in the oven as well because we're going to roast those. I'm simply going to have them, and then you have more surface area on which the flavors you know, beyond the olive oil, the salt, and the pepper. And those are ready to go in the oven. Now I need to cut up some bacon. And that's going to go on top of our roasted Brussels sprouts. Let's move on to the potatoes. So tonight we're going to serve smashed red potatoes with roasted garlic. I'm going to be using the roasted garlic when I mash the actual red potatoes with skins on. Potatoes are on. Now Teresa has diabetes, but if she's going to eat a piece of steak, it needs to be the best cut available to her. And this is the best cut. This day is full of surprises. The mayor of Atlantic City, Don Guardian, heard from Harry Hurley about Teresa and wanted to stop by and support her. What have you done so far? Um, yeah, I see the hair. That's great. You love that. I love her. So I just make her look good. Nice. Nice. I got manicure and pedicure and the whole night. Are you serious? That's wonderful. And the outfit? Beautiful. Great to see Teresa and her husband and one of her sons here enjoying a fine meal that, that Mimi's going to be preparing for them. And, and as mayor, I'm very appreciative uh, that, that you've selected someone from my community and given them a really wonderful day. All right, so let me get those potatoes off the stove. All right, we got service coming, so you're gonna need to get out of here. You need to get everything done really quick, okay? Uh, okay, how much time All do right. I have, Chef? You've got like 10 minutes. What can I use to serve the light? You want this, right? She wants. And we are serving. I really hope those steaks had enough time to cook. I'd hate for them to be raw. Fingers crossed, moment of truth. Mimi, this is so wonderful. I haven't had a meal like this. It tastes good, and it's not anything that's bad for me, and I am so excited. I'm so, oh, you're awesome. You really just made my night with this dinner. I'm telling you, you know, I know you don't know, but this is the first time since I went all I need years ago that I can have this dinner. And I was a server since I was 13. And Larry's been a cook. Woo, we pulled it off, and everyone seems to love it. And to give Teresa this night out after eight years is truly special. It's, it's delicious. Absolutely. And that boy of mine, he has never eaten Brussels sprouts. Ever. Really? Ever. Ever. And he is eating Are you eating them? Very good. Sometimes when you're rushed, you forget things. Hmm. Am I forgetting something? Mimi and I went out shopping today and out on a table here. We got a, about a month or two months worth of food oh out here. Oh my gosh, so. well, guys. You're yes. kidding me! <laughs> oh my god! I'm so 
I had Larry whisper into my ear about the food because, you know, I couldn't see it, but he's like, the tables are like filled with food. With you guys coming in our life, it means so much. I mean, the Iron Room wanted me to present you a, a gift certificate for six so that you can come with George, your and wife, and the kids. Oh, God. So you can come here and have dinner again on them. Okay? Oh, and this is for you guys. So you get to come George. back. Yes. <laughs> you guys made my whole Christmas. You made my whole year. You made just wonderful people. And I just want to give back. I want to help. I want to do something to help hometown heroes. I want to do something.